Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be servicing the differential side on this Audi TT. So the Haldex service, if you want to see how that's done, just watch my other video. The link will be down in the description. This is a generation 4 Haldex unit. So what we want to start by doing is jacking up the vehicle and then leveling it up either using some wooden blocks, ramps or anything similar, jack stands, whatever you have access to. Next we want to get underneath the vehicle and come to the rear section near the rear diff. We want to be accessing this drain plug here and this fill plug over there. So I'll show you the tools you need to remove those two and it's as simple as that. The Haldex unit, uh, if you watch my other video you'll see how that's done. The drain plug is over there and the fill plug is over there at the top. So we'll go ahead, crack the fill plug open as per usual and then we'll drain out the fluid here. So these are the tools you'll need for servicing the differential side. So all you need is a 5mm hex driver, torque wrench, a ratchet, light, um, a marker if you're going to mark your bolts, some brake cleaner or degreaser, and a pump bottle similar to this, and your container to catch all the fluid in. It's always a good idea to give this area a good clean use brake cleaner or something similar and just give this all this whole area a good clean especially the fill area so that no contaminants are go in and if your car's a bit rusty and if these bolts don't look that clean and they look a bit rusted just spray it down with some lubricant like wd-40 or similar so it'll make your life a whole lot easier So once this area is clean, take your 5mm hex socket or driver and just crack open the fill plug. It's only torqued to 90 Nm, so realistically it shouldn't be that difficult. But like I said, if it's rusted, then that could be a different story altogether. That's the fill plug. And we'll just let that drain. Once it's all drained, give it a wipe. And then just screw in your new plug. So you want to see a little bit of a drip like this, then you know it's full. If you want to confirm, you can just go again and add a bit more and it should start dripping out constantly. And another thing is just measure what came out so then you know exactly what to put in. Once it's done, we're going to put the fill bolt back in. And we'll talk it down to 19 to 2 meters. You can go ahead and spray some brake cleaner, clean all this up, and then mask the bolt. Once you're done, you can go ahead and mark your bolt. And now just mark the fill bolt. And that's it, and you're all done. And you go ahead and just remove the jack and take it for a drive and make sure there's no leaks or anything similar. Thanks for watching everyone. If you wanted to check out the Haldex unit and how to service it, have a look at the link down in the description and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.